Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I wanna welcome you guys to my tire review. So here I've got quite a few tires, individuals, because I def definitely have the sets of tires. Um, and when we got them going over each one of them, talk about the pros and cons, why I like them and why I chose them, and which ones I'm specifically using in general and the ones that I dislike. So this is my TLR. 10 SCTE 2.0 and got my Pro 4 and my Sentin here in the back. But uh, several of these tires that I'm running on these particular vehicles. So we'll start off here first with the general tire, the grabber it's called. So it's a pre mounted tire that comes with your Pro 4 SC10 and it's a universal tire. Um, you know, now the Pro 4 SC10 is RTR, right? Ready to run, um, ready to race. It's a race ready car. It's an awesome car and I can't speak highly enough about it. I have it. A couple, a couple upgrades to get just your, 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 your Pro 4 ready to be a real competitor on the track. Um, but um, we're talking about tires and so it comes with these. You can look at the tread here. Pretty flat tread, universal tread, right? You can take it off road. You can take it on the dirt. Um, the pavement, it functions a lot better on pavement. You can tell that because it's a lot flatter, right? It doesn't have these big teeth sticking out, protruding. Um, and so like, if you're just gonna be doing some leisure riding and a little bit on the street, lot of street, a little dirt, then these can work for you. They come with the car. Um, but if you look for having better performance and um, more ability out of your car, you're gonna to wanna to switch your tires out, right? So, on a scale of one, one to five, one star being not so good, five stars being good, these are basic, I'll give these a two star. Um, I switched these out quite quickly and I have been searching for a good tire to run on my Pro 4 SC10 and I found it. So the next pre-mounted tire I'm gonna go show you one of my least favorites is the Low C Wild Peaks. Now these come with your, these are the Falcon Wild Peaks by Low C. Um, they come with your DB Pros, your TT Pros. Um, I think they came on a few of those Tenacity short course trucks as well. But once again, you can kind of see this flat tread, which is more or less, you know, for universal tires, right? It's a pre-mounted. Looks cool. I really like the white with the red bead. But um, these aren't the best tires when you're talking about, you know, performing on the track and having the, the grip needed for cornering and, and traction going down straights and such and overall handling. Um, once again, this is a tire for like a basher, a leisure guy who wants to, you know, just hit the hit the dirt, let their car run amok in the backyard or some grass and some dirt here and there. Um, one of my least favorite tires, I put them on, I ran them one time only, and I was unhappy and I had to track with them. I just didn't feel like they were very responsive and I was getting a lot of wheel spin out of them and just fishtailing, so I quickly took them off. So, scale of one to five stars, one star being least, five star being the most, I'll give these, you know, a two, two stars, two stars for me. So the next pre-mounted tire got is this big, beefy, strong guy here. So I've got this particular tire right now running on my Sentin 6S. And while I do like the look of it, this is a hardcore, awesome tread looking. It's a, once again, universal tire that's used for on-road, off-road um, bashing. And so my sense and success, I run it on the track. And what I find is I don't have as much grip as I would like because a lot of fish tailing, but the sense is heavy enough that it could sustain, right? And give me some decent traction. So, um, and the performance is not so bad. So, but I really do like this pre-mounted um, tire here. This is the Raptor by Power Hobby, the 17 millimeter hex. And, uh, I like it. It's belted. 
Um, I do like it. They, it needs more teeth to speak out, sticking out from it, you know, but like, this is a really cool looking design. And, you know, it's not too bad. Like, definitely for bashing, you can definitely, you know, bash well with it, take it on the pavement. And um, they don't balloon because they're belted. So I like them for that reason. So on a scale of one to five stars, we'll give this guy a three. The Power Hobby Raptors. From there, I went on experimenting with some more tires and such. So I came across the Proline Trencher. Now, you know, once again, another pre-mounted universal style tire. These guys do balloon. Um, they're not belted, so they'll balloon with a lot of centrifugal force and it's part of it. Um, one thing I do like about the Proline brand tires is that uh, they come pre-mounted for one, but they come with the interchangeable hexes, right? So you can, based off of what size hex you have on your car, you can switch them out for a 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter, even an 18 millimeter, 17 millimeter. So um, that's the cool thing about this, right? They screw right in and as they start to degrade, you can switch them out pretty quickly. But I'm unhappy with the performance of this trencher tire. You know, even on pavement, it's decent for bashing. You know, this is more like a basher tire off-road, a little bit on-road, because it's not even as flat you know, as the Low Sea Wild Peak, as the Raptor, or even as the Grabber by General Tire. So, um, but it's all right, especially when they're brand new, right? They look really cool. But um, I ran these a couple times, you know, before I found a better short course tire. But but still wasn't very happy with this particular performance at the track. And like I once I said, like it was just slipping and sliding out. And I was just like, why is this happening? So. Once I learned tires play a big portion and a big reason why your car is underperforming. So make sure you get some tires that hook up well at your track. So this particular tire, you know, it's the trencher. I'm ready to sell this guy. Um, I'll give this a two stars. Another pre-mounted tire by Proline, and this is the Badlands. So the Badlands, I really like. Um, once again, it has that, you know, pre-mount, it has an interchangeable hex. You can see I've got the hex in there now, right? Running a uh, 12 millimeter hex inside. But um, I really like this, like good beefy teeth in the tread, little space, and these actually hook up very well on the track, right? Loose, loamy, dirt conditions, there's enough knobbiness on those on those treads for it to actually grip the track and, and and also it grips in high grass condition as well so i saw some good performance out of these not quite the best performance but some decent performance out of these you know so um definitely we'll give these a three star the next tire now this particular tire very similar to that of the Badlands, right? Good knobby for off-road, but you'll notice this tire here is a lot softer, right? Um, and I like that about this tire. This tire goes on to my Sentin 3S, and this is the Deboots Fortress tire. Now this Deboots Fortress tire hooks up very well on muddy conditions, loose loamy dirt, grass dirt, I don't run it much on pavement. I don't take any of my cars much on pavement at all. Um, I like to keep them in the off-road, on the track especially. And lately I've just been on the track with everything. Um, but looking at these teeth, this is an awesome tread. And these guys hook up very well. They allow my Sinton to perform very well. And I keep up with all the fast cars like truggies and buggies. I can win some races, but I'm always finishing well with these guys in my car. Never fishtails, right? It has good grip, cornering, coming out of corners, straights as well. So this particular tire, I definitely give it a four star, like the Deboots Fortress tire. Now they come in different sizes, right? This is for the Sentin 3S. They have the Mojave 4S, which I believe is a little bit bigger. And then the Mojave 6S, which is even bigger. So um, some, the Boots Fortress tires are really cool. 
four stars. Now we're starting to get into a little bit more of the racing tires, right, for the track. So I stumbled upon the Gladiators by Proline. Another pre-mounted tire. Um, was my favorite tire for a while. Lovely, lovely set of treads on it, right? This is what you want when you're racing a good penny tire. A lot of pins, good soft, medium soft compound um, that can actually grip onto that track and um, give you the traction that's needed, right? A lot of teeth for cornering and gripping. Um, and so, yeah. So what I did was I was running these on my front and I ran the Badlands on the back tires. And so that good combination of having traction and some good cornering grip with these up front definitely helped my car to perform at a high level. But um, the Gladiator is very good to go with, very popular tire, so consider that if you're running a short course truck and you're not sure what tires to go with and you're brand new. Gladiators. I give these four and a half stars. The next tire, so I've been stumbling upon, you know, the new, another brand of tire, which is by J Concept. Now these particular racing tires specifically, you gotta put these tires together, right? You gotta get the tire and then you gotta get the wheel and separately and then you got to glue them together and so forth and so i really like that part about it right the whole gluing it together it's just like putting your kits together right you get a kit you got to put all the front assembly together the front diff center diff rear diff rear assembly and you got to build it from scratch and that's what i like about these tires you know gluing and fitting the insert inside the, the, the rubber and then putting that on top of the wheel and fixing the bead and so forth and then, you know, so J Concepts has tons of tires. These particular ones are the Double Ds. And the Double Ds comes with the extra soft compound. Now these guys grip very well, super soft. Um, but I did have a little bit of underperformance with these at the track. Why? My track conditions are loose and loamy, right? So loose, loamy dirt is that loose dirt that gets kicked around and collects at the tire but it's loamy meaning that it's rich so like that type of dirt is after the cars have been running around the track and the grooves are being laid in the track and it's that dark moist dirt which is awesome dirt right um, these pins aren't large enough to really force the good grip these might work better on you know hard packed dirt which i believe they will but as far as the outdoor loose loamy dirt where you need more teeth in gripping these didn't do as well after a few runs. Like initially, right fresh on the track, they were gripping well, but once the dirt got caked in these little teeth, I kept having to stop and pat the tire out, brush the tire out to, to, exp to expose the teeth again to get the grip. And these forced me, you know, having a lot of like fishtailing where the car was slipping out from underneath on the turns, coming out of the corner, trying to hit a throttle, that backside would just slip out. And I know it's because I wasn't getting the grip here that was needed. And so, that being said, these double Ds, I'm still holding on to them, I still like them. I'm gonna try these on um, hard packed dirt instead. So I will give these um, a four star. And the latest tire that I've been running, I've been running them on my TLR um, SCTE 2.0, and I've been running these with the um, Pro 4 SC10. And these are another double, um, another J Concept tire. You can see this awesome grip tread. So I'll show you this more of a racer's tire. So the this tire is the Gladiator, and this tire is the J Concept's Chopper. So you can see those big aggressive treads that they have. Those work really well on my track, you know. Um, and this is actually the best performing tire that I've come across at the track. So I'm definitely going to be sticking with this one. You know, you can see that in comparison to the other J Concept tire, the Double D. You know, a little bit less penny. Equal, a lot of pins, but not as profound and thick of a pin, right? Whereas this one here, it's just hardcore, rough and rugged. Look at that. So, really like these chopper tires. I just got them. Um, so I'm already going to think about ordering another pair. Um, so yeah, these guys here, 
get the five star. And that's here's my tire review. Now, I want you guys to be mindful of when you're selecting tires, right? I've, I've gone through how many pairs of tires? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different tires. Um, you gotta select tires that work well at the track that you're running on. Um, you're gonna have to try out quite a few compounds, quite a few different tires, right, to find what works. So there's so many tires out there. Um, and you just don't know which one's gonna hook up the best for your track, you know? So trial and error, try some tires out. Um, they don't work, look to sell them. People buy secondhand tires all, all the time. Just take good care of them, rinse them down, bag them. That way, you know, the oxygen doesn't eat away at the rubber and harden it over time. That way you take good care of your tires and so forth. But that's one word of advice I can give to you guys to start now. You know, make sure you, you always adhere and refer to the track that you're running on and make your selection of tires for that. You know, and if you happen to travel to tournaments and so forth, other, you know, competitions where you're, you know, new tracks, you find out what kind of track they have, what condition track they have. Oh, is it a tight dirt? And you'll kind of know which kind of tire to go with in that regard. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this video at all helpful, drop me a like, give me a follow. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be up to date on the latest videos that I'll be dropping. I want you guys to stay tuned for the next series of videos. We're going to be outlining and taking a look at my new short course truck, the SCTE 2.0 Low C10. This is my custom body paint work. So if you do need some paint or you want a paint job by yours truly, hit me up in the messages. We'll make that work. I want you guys to race hard, race often, and race safely. Until next time, guys.